Four illegal immigrants climbed on the wall on the U.S.-Mexico border between Cidal Rares in Mexico and Sunland Park in New Mexico, Friday to taunt President Donald Trump's tough on immigration stance. The Daily Mail reported that one immigrant, with the help of three other men, leaped over the border wall and ran into the United States territory in less than two fucking minutes. He couldn't get over. He was taking forever one of the men who helped the immigrant told AFP, adding that he has seen others climb the 20 feet wall in less than one minute. The Mexican man then ran off towards a group of houses before U.S. Customs and Border Protection officers could spot him. The actions of these illegal immigrants come after President Trump directed the Defense Department to send thousands of United States troops to the United States Mexico border to ramp up border security. Trump signed a proclamation Wednesday directing Defense Secretary James Mattis to request the use of National Guard personnel to assist with the Department of Homeland Security's existing efforts to secure the border. The President's tough on immigration policy has promoted the organizers of a caravan of more than 1,500 Central American immigrants traveling through Mexico toward the United States border to request refuge status from the United States to call off their group expedition. Now, the first thing I want to discuss in this is that this caravan coming from Mexico to the United States. And like the article states, it is about around 1,500 people are marching from Mexico to the U.S. border demanding, get this, this is the key word here, people, demanding refuge and stay within the United States of America. Despite you have immigrants constantly taunting President Trump and taunting American values. But here's the one thing I want to say. President Trump is facing problems with illegal immigration in our southern border. And with that caravan of immigrants coming from Central America and Mexico, what President Trump needs to do is invoke Article 4, Section 4 of the Constitution that provides and states... The United States shall guarantee to every state in this union a Republican form of government and shall protect each of them against invasion. President Trump has already the constitutional authority to protect the southern border states and should act as he sees necessary to appeal this invasion and ensure our national border and sovereignty. And this is one goddamn argument that I cannot fucking stand, is that you have all these leftist liberal people constantly always saying that America is built by immigrants. America was founded by immigrants, despite those same immigrants that we constantly tell to go home, go back to Europe. Have you plebs ever noticed that fucking shit? The liberal left loves to say that America was built by immigrants and was founded by immigrants. Yet they still say to this day, in my comment sections, you can still find these liberal fucktards saying those same immigrants who founded America need to go back to Europe. I know each one of you listening to this video have heard both those arguments. That one, America is founded by immigrants, and two, those same immigrants should just go back to Europe. It just reeks of hypocrisy. Now, another thing my bigoted white ass wants to talk about is the liberal lefts and their complaining and bitching and whining about how Trump is quote-unquote militarizing the border wall. First of all, it is a border between two countries. You have America and then you have shithole Mexico. I think that the United States border should always have a good amount of military personnel at the border at all times. Just fucking stationed there. Taking shifts there. But the liberal left doesn't even want Border Patrol having the funding and resources that they need, let alone an entire military personnel people who have the experience of protecting shit be at the border wall because why would they? Again, the Democrats want these illegal immigrants into the United States. Why? So they can have a reliable voting base in future elections. This was the entire point of having illegal immigrants in the country in the first place, was a standard base reliable voting bracket that they can look to and say, hey, our opponent is racist, so vote for us instead. They do the same things with blacks, they do the same things with women, and they do the same thing with LGBT people. The Democrats just use these people to get votes. Please remember that. 
but we have to talk about how these illegal immigrants just have little to no respect for all laws and our culture as Americans. You see, because if they did have respect for us, they wouldn't be jumping the border trying to taunt our president because he so happens to be very hard on the stance of illegal immigration and deporting their relatives. So instead of telling their relatives, hey, maybe you should go to the United States legally instead of illegally. Maybe you should do your paperwork. Maybe you should do the fines and the necessary process to become a legal citizen instead of going to the United States hoping to get amnesty. And when you don't get amnesty, you bitch cry and whine and want to scream racist at our president. But no, they don't do that shit. They will tell their family members and children ways to cheat the system, ways to fuck over immigration laws. These people have no respect for our nation. These people have no respect for our laws. And then again, you have that caravan of that 1,500 illegal immigrants literally marching towards America. And if you had any number of uh, high thousand number of people marching on any border of any country, that would be labeled a fucking invasion. Now, the liberal left is doing what they've always done, which is putting children on the forefront of this caravan illegal immigrant march thingy. They're trying to make it seem like, oh, it's just a bunch of children, women, poor people, and all that shenanigans. But in truth, most likely, it's just a bunch of illegal immigrant men coming towards the border because they believe that they can come here, get a good living, and then whatever money they make here, they can just send back to Mexico. They do that kind of stuff all the damn time. They come here, they work under the table jobs, and then send their money back home to Mexico to their families. Hell, you had that one bitch who got elected to that California state government position. In her graduation speech, she claimed that she misses Mexico and she how she wants to go back and whatever have you. Does that seem like a person that has loyalty to the United States? Does that seem like a person that is loyal to America and our values and what we stand for? No, it doesn't. It seems like her loyalty is to Mexico and Mexico only. You constantly hear the liberal left talking about how these illegal immigrants want to be Americans, how they want to have the American dream, the dreamers, the dream act, right? And a lot of these illegal immigrants don't even like America. You saw this during the 2016 election, right? You saw plenty of these illegal immigrants protesting against Donald Trump, burning the American flag and waving around the Mexico flag. That to me doesn't seem seem like loyalty. That to me doesn't seem like they just want to come here to get a better life. That doesn't seem to me like they come here because they want to be Americans. It seems to me they want to come here, be given everything under the sun, get under this victimhood status bullcrap, make a good living, and then send that money back to their home country, which is Mexico. While at all the same times being on welfare, food stamps, and all these other government programs that are mainly built to benefit illegal immigrants, anchor babies and all that shenanigans. Now, like I talked about in the beginning of this video, which was the caravan of 1,500 illegal immigrants literally marching to our damn border, that would be labeled a invasion if this was any other country. And what do they expect is going to happen when these 1,500 people march to the United States border? Do you think they're going to be allowed in? Do you believe that we're just going to open the door for them and just let them come on in with all their family members, all their drugs, unvented, unprocessed, welcome to the United States, just fuck it. Do you think we're going to do that? Because I don't think we're going to do that, and I don't think Trump is going to do that. And maybe that is why he sent the military down there to try to make sure these people don't cross into America. Because again, if you paid attention to the beginning of the article, you would have heard me said that in this article that illegal immigrants see people jumping this, quote, eight foot wall in less than a fucking minute. In less than a minute, people, that's fucking fast to climb up a fucking wall, an eight foot wall, apparently. And you want me to believe that these people have America's best interests at heart? Yeah, no. I don't fucking believe that for one minute. These people come here for self-gain. These people come here and have no loyalty to America. No expectation on integrating into American culture and everyday American value. No, they come here and they still have loyalty to Mexico. And I think it was one of my subscribers, Brenda Cox, who said something of the lines of, 
that they truly have no loyalty to America. I can't really remember your comment, but I know it was something of the lines of that. But she would be essentially right. These illegal immigrants have no loyalty to America. They have no loyalty to our culture, our people, or whatever. They come here for their own game. They come here essentially knowing that they're going to try to fuck over America and then go try to teach that same knowledge of trying to fuck over American immigration laws to their kids, how to screw over the welfare system, how to jump the border, how to do this, how to do that illegally. The vast majority of time, these illegal immigrants have no plan and no expectation of doing things the right and legal way. Fuck, many of them are coming from the cartels and then they grow up wanting to join even worse gangs. So no, I say Trump has to do whatever it takes to keep our borders safe. And stopping these people from entering in the United States is the most crucial thing that he needs to do as of right now. But you let me know what you guys think of that in the comment section below. That's it for this video. Peace out, guys.